hi guys you're welcome back to my channel the name of my channel is for la Kemia toast you're welcome back thank you for tuning in again today I have a special request due to so many people make requests for this jollof rice that in my previous video i did not see anything when i was cooking the jollof rice this time i want to take my time to explain how i cook this delicious jollof rice and this time around i'm going for this jollof rice i'll be using mahama rice but feel free to use any rice of your choice i'll be using mahama rice i will be using some shrimp tiger shrimps i'll be using some vegetable oil i'm using mazula vegetable oil you can see the mahama rice but you can use any rice of your choice i'll be using some green bell pepper just for color but this is optional it's up to you i'll be using some white onions just for garnishing too i'll be using some tomatoes for garnishing then i already blended my pe pepper which consists about four, four red bell pepper, onions, and some tomatoes. I've already cooked it and boiled it down. So that's what I will be using to prepare my jello fries. I already shared that in my previous video. Please go and watch that video. My previous, you'll see how I prepared my blended pepper and boil it down. So right now, I'm going to season my shrimp with some tonis. I'll be adding some oat base. I'll put in some grand ginger. I'll put in some allspice, grounded spices, or we can use any other season that we want to put in. So that is all I'll be putting. I will be putting some bouillon powder. Yeah, I'm going to just mix everything together at this point and allow everything to just mix well together. So I'm going to set that at side. Then I'll go back to the other ingredient I'm going to be using. I have my mixed stock, I have my rice, and I have the blended pepper. You can see, well cooked and ready for the work. Right now, I'm starting to fry, just stir fry my shrimp. And as you can see, it's looking so good. I love the color. And the aroma is, <sighs> I can't even describe it. It's so good. So I'll just give it a quick stir so that it doesn't stay too long. Then after that, I'm going to set it aside and go to the real cooking of the rice. I'm still going to use the same pot. To cook my delicious jollof rice so at this point i just turn in my pepper and i'm gonna cook it very well allow it to cook very well This is just, then at this point, I'm going to put in my rice and stir it properly. I'm going to give it a quick stir and allow it to mix thoroughly. This is the very important point. If you miss this point, you might not really get what you want. So I'm going to cook it for some time, for like five minutes. I'm just going to be mixing it. Don't allow it to stay so that it doesn't burn. Allow, just continue to give it a quick stir. Then afterwards, after five minutes, it is well mixed together. Then I'm going to turn in my stock. By meat stock or chicken stock, whichever one you want to use. I'm going to turn it inside. As you can see. Then you can add in a little bit of water depending on the quantity of the rice and how you want it to be. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water. I will add in a little bit of water. Enough to cook the rice. Then I'm going to cover it. Look at what I'm doing. I just rinse it and put a very hot water inside. So I'm using hot water. I don't want to use it. I don't want it to go down. So I'm just going to give it another quick stir 
and cover it at this point. This I will cover it with foil and then the lid so that it's going to get all the steam because at this point all what I need is just the steam and not really the hotness of the stove. So I need a lot of steam. I need to get all the steam that it can get so that it's going to cook very well. So that's what I'm going to do right now after stirring it just to mix it properly and make sure that everywhere is well, you know, thoroughly blended together. Then at this point, I just cover it. Then I'm going to set it aside. Or oh, before I cover it, I put in some fresh thyme just for the flavor. Put in some fresh thyme and some bay leaf. And I added a little bit of um seasoning i added a little bit of bouillon powder because i do at this point i don't want to put in any other thing after this after i've tasted it and i discovered that it needs just a little bit so i've added all the things i need to add put some bay leaf for some haruma and the uh, fresh thyme yeah then at this point i'm gonna just see i'm covering it with the foil then i'm gonna put the lid on it and reduce the heat and cover it so that it's going to cook thoroughly i'll just be checking it once in a while at this point i'm going to cover it for like 20 minutes afterwards i just open it and it's doing so well the rice is almost cooked so i just pour in my blended or crushed um, green pepper diced green, pe green pepper sorry i just throw in my diced green pepper just for the color this is optional if you don't want it i just want that color that green color you can have fresh uh green onions at this point but i want this pepper i just want that taste then i'm gonna add in my shrimp at this point too because the rice is done at this point just a little bit just i just want the water to go down a little bit then i'm gonna cover it at this point again just two minutes and my delicious jollof rice is ready. As you can see, it's looking so good. Yeah, I'm covering it back just for like two minutes. So at this point, the rice is fully ready. Everything is just the way I want it. It's not too hard. It's not too soft. And the rice is tasting so good. And I love the color. I love the taste. I love the texture. I love the aroma. I love everything about it. So right now I'm just throwing in my fresh white onions and tomatoes just for garnishing. This is purely optional. Just for that crunchiness. And of course, this is looking so good. I can't even wait to taste it. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to see in my next one. Thank you and bye-bye.